Hello. This is just going to be like a little look through my mini museum. All the little bits, bobs, rocks, some fake fossils. I thought they were real when I bought them. But I should have known better because how cheap they were. <laughs> you know. But hey, still think it looks kind of neat. Bugging some resin. Got some fossilized clams. Use them to teach about the flood of Noah. Because clams, when they die, they pop open. You know, they go... But these will fossilize clothes. It means they were buried alive. Which would be a rapid process. Which would happen during the flood. It's a little sea star. That's the Confederate money. I think it's for display only. I don't think it's real. It's only backed on one side. See? So, eh. Worth just as much as Confederate money. <laughs> Good fossil. Let's see if I can get it. Make a close up image. Yeah, there we go. Fossilized fish. And my first fossil, which was a gift from my mom, because my mama loves me, and I love her, and I thank her for all she does for me. She got my trilobite, but people kept confusing it for dog poop. So I got my own. <laughs> Let's see if it'll focus. Come on, camera, you can do it. There we go. And a little trilobite fossil. Well, a big one, technically. This one's a little one. And an ammonite. This was a necklace I had for a long time. Um, use it more for display stuff now. I need to get some leather straps for, um, what you call it, for a necklace. Got some amethyst. I know it's amethyst. Some amethyst. The crystals. Whatever this is called. Turquoise. No, turquinite. Turquinite. Tur. Turquine, turquentine, turpentine. So here's some turpentine. <laughs> oh no, you might see my reflection. Let's see. I don't think you can in this video. Nah, I don't think you can. Good try though. Um, a bunch of little doodads. Some, what you call it? Shark teeth. I got too many on the other side of this. Some basic rocks, seashells. Arrowheads. There's a bunch of little things here and there. Ooh. And I thought this was neat. Layered rock. These kind of rocks. Let's see. Focus. Focus. Uh-huh. Are called sedimentary lock rocks. Locks. <laughs> sedimentary rocks. Because they go by layers. And I thought that was kind of neat. And then there's a bunch of holy rocks I got from, um, not from a holy site, but from the beach. Some people act like the beach is holy. They go there on religious pilgrimages every year, sometimes several times a year. Cool looking piece of wood. Foreign currency. Oh yeah. Now she's dead. Oh well. Let me repackage all this up and I flip to the other side. Almost forgot. Little cross. And what's in this bag? The bag of mystery. I think it's Argonaut. I can't remember the name of it. I feel so I feel so dumb right now. I forgot the name of it. Come on. There we go. It's a little crystalline structure. Don't look neat. A bunch of different rocks and geodes and cool stuff. Oh, hmm. Azurite. Yeah, I still think lapis looks better. One second, let me throw all these gemstones out of the way, right quick. Okay, my mom had to come in and tell me something. This is where that went. Ooh. Ah. See, at one time I had all these memorized, but I forgot them. If you don't practice stuff, you lose the knowledge of it. So, if you want to be smart at something, you need to practice it. 
These are just a bunch of cool looking rocks I got from over the years. Quartz. My favorite, lapis. I like lapis. Lapis is my favorite gemstone. The back of this is a little broken, as you can see. Got a spill container of shark's teeth. <laughs> and some other fossils and some weird looking rocks I found. They're very lightweight for some reason. One moment, got some more. Okay, got some fossilized coral. Isn't that neat? I also got some sea urchin. Oh, come on, look good for the camera. I should be able to see my fingerprints and this thing. Mm. There we go. A fossilized sea urchin. I think it looks kind of neat. And this word, which... I don't know if I pronounced it right. Mini Orthoceras. This thing. Looks like a fishing weight. <laughs> then I have a bunch of cicada shells. Because I thought they would look they look kind of neat. I think that's my most viewed video on the channel. Is um, doing a Bible lesson with cica cicada, cicada, cicada shells. Yeah. He's climbing little things to climb up on a tree. They die, well, their outside body dies, and they transform into flying things. I think that's kind of neat. But yeah. That's all I got in the Mini Museum. I like learning about dinosaurs. Of all different sizes. Colors. And shapes. But while I collected some of this, the, the money was a gift. Well, I collected a bunch of these fossils and stuff was to start like a small creation museum. A small little creation ministry, which is what this channel is about. Um, at least to begin with. Now, part of it's a little bit too much entertainment, to be honest. I just make videos to keep being happy with the artwork so I can continue on with the mission. Um, but to have the ability to have these things and to tell people about them and to praise Jesus for it is amazing because look at fossils. It's like, what happened? Well, I think a bunch of them formed during the flood, the flood of Noah, which was a consequence of man's sin in the world. Sin brings death and judgment, which is bad. And the world has fallen apart from God's good creation. But there is hope in Jesus, which is why I have that little cross in here as well. To, rem to remember, there is hope. It's not the prettiest or shiniest thing in here. It's a little piece of wood. But it means so much. On a cross, God himself came and died for our sins because sin requires death as a punishment. But, like the cicada shell I showed you, you could be born anew after that. You could be changed into something better that goes higher than you ever imagined. And brighter lights than you've ever seen. All you gotta do is go to the tree. Like the cicada shell does. Like the cicada does. Are you gonna bear your cross every day? Are you gonna take the offering that Jesus gave for you? That's my question for you. Um, what would you do with your gifts? With your collections? With your time? Do you use it just to entertain yourself? Because stuff like this is children's toys. But anything is a good tool. And a shoddy carpenter blames his tools. Jesus built a stairway to heaven with just um, two pieces of wood. What will you do with your gifts and your time and your talents? Whatever you do, I don't have... <laughs> whatever you do, I hope you don't have a prickly attitude like a stegosaurus. I started out with Gary the Bubble Giraffe. And now I just talk with my hands or just write stuff down. You are capable of amazing things. And I hope you know that. And I hope you go and do something for Jesus today. What on earth are you doing for heaven's sake? I hope you have a nice day. God bless you. And goodbye.